You're investigating this alleged Russian collusion with the Trump campaign. You're the lead investigator. You originated the investigation. You're the point of contact. You drafted the document. And here you are before you've interviewed a single solitary witness saying F Trump. As I've stated, that text was written late at night. In shorthand, I don't not care when it was written. About. I don't care it's whether it was longhand, cursive. Yeah. I don't care about any of that. I want to know what it meant. His candidacy for the presidency. See, it wasn't that tough. My sense that the American yeah, population that would not vote him into office. Right, right. Your testimony a couple of weeks ago was the we met the American people, which I found confusing because on November the 7th, which is the day before the election, you said, OMG, this is effing terrifying. What I was expressing in that text is my personal belief and my personal sense of how I saw and what I believed in the uh, potential upcoming administration. And see, that, that's what I find so confounding, because in August, you blamed the we on the American people, but the American people didn't stop it. He actually won. So then we go to March of 2017, and you're already talking longingly about him resigning. You wrote, God, Hillary should win $100 million to zero. And I'm assuming Hillary would be former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton? That's correct. Had you interviewed her yet? Uh, no. Had you interviewed more than 30 other witnesses that wound up being interviewed? No. Well, then why wouldn't you wait until the investigation was over before you have her the nominee and winning a general election against an opponent that hadn't even been named yet? And you are talking about impeachment. And for anyone who may have missed it the day after his appointment, Agent Strzok, you did it again five days later. You need to understand, at every investigative decision, there are multiple layers of people above me, the assistant director, executive assistant director, deputy director, and director of the FBI, and multiple layers of people below me, section chiefs, supervisors, unit chiefs, case agents, and analysts. And the suggestion that I, in some dark chamber somewhere in the FBI, would somehow cast aside all of these procedures, it simply couldn't happen. And the proposition that that is going on, that it might occur anywhere in the FBI, deeply corrodes what the FBI is in American society, the effectiveness of their mission, and it is deeply destructive.